crew of 750 auxiliary phaser cannons, even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft, average speed, warp 5 point nothing. She's a tough little ship though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Name and position? I have your record right here. Welcome aboard. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use a turbo lift in the nearby quarter. It will take you directly there. me cadet eventually captain to eventually admiral fleet admiral tony mitchell <clears throat> well this is a mighty fine starship this will be my ship one day well soon i've already did this on the xbox on xbox on my fleet admiral I own my own fleet and everything on the Xbox. Welcome to the bridge number one. Early in my career, I served with the captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. I was talking my about one, I expect Captain you to Picard my and, out and, and to advise Commander on the best course of action in any situation. No. Well, now it's Captain Riker, probably. First, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Releasing tractor moorings. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. To sit, press the X button while targeting the chair you wish to sit in. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Hmm. 
Well, it'll be my temporary ship when I become captain, but... Captain, I'm picking up an automated distress call from the SS Great Evil. Their warp core is failing, and they require immediate assistance. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. They are not responding to our payments. Keep trying, Trevelle. Their long-range comms might be down. Number one, let's discuss the situation. An unexpected situation, number one. But such things come with the job. What do you think we should do? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. It's a race against time if their warp core is at risk. Indeed. We also don't know what led to this situation either. It could have been an accident or the results of an attack. What do you advise? That level of analysis will take more time than we have, number one. Agreed. All hands, go to yellow alert. I suggest we go Forest, to yellow alert. Raise the shields. Number one, I want you to oversee the rescue effort once we arrive. Scan them. Maybe they're unable to respond to our signal. Captain, our shields are collapsing. Flores, return fire. Atom Delta Sierra 9. Look, there go the shields. Not good. Engineering to bridge. Go ahead, engineering. Sir, the board are here. We need help. Uh oh, the board. Right there. That was the cheese. Right, number one. I want you to go to main engineering and lead the security team efforts there. Get those Borg off my ship. Yes, sir. Security team with me. To engineering. Sorry for the emergency stop, number one, but there's a problem in the transporter room. The Borg are trying to take it over, most likely to prevent us from using site-to-site -site transports within the ship. I see. What are your orders? Head to the armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security officers you find on the way. Once you are armed, I need you to go to the transporter room and secure it as soon as possible. What about the enemy ship, sir? We're holding our own so far, number one, but our success depends on securing the ship. Do what you can to get the Borg out of critical areas. Yes, sir. Entering command codes. Armory unlocked. Opening weapons locker. Get a weapon. Armory, sir. Very well. We're reading Borg life signs in your area. Looks like you'll have to fight your way to the transporter room. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Mitchell, out. Press the triangle button to switch between your two equipped weapons. Warning. Hull breach detected on deck six. Hangar bay one. I'm in the transporter room. Borg, Borg are beaming or trying to beam on board. 
Alright, we'll take care of the Borg, sir. I use I had to kill myself. There's a cadet down, I'm treating the cadet. He's injured by the Borg. <sighs> Rack, what happened? Thanks. You saved me from a fate worse than death. I'll get back to men and transporters. I need to get to my engineer to repair more of the Borg. That's going to be a problem. We took some hard hits in the initial salvo, and there are hole breaches in the corridor. I don't think you can make it there. Can you bring me directly to engineering? We still have Yes, I think I can. Get on the transporter pad and I'll beam you there. Ready to beam the engineering. Program the engineering deck, sir. Take your care of him now as we speak, sir. Sir, the bug in the warp core. We're trying to take over the warp core, sir. We're taking care of the Borg in the engineering department. They, they, they will not get the warp core, sir. We have defeated the Borg brothers in the engineering, sir. Zava. That uh, uh, sounds pretty risky. Any riskier than standing around while the board send over more drones? I don't think so. Hurry, I do not want to be assimilated. No, thank you. I'll prepare to kill it for release. Pre preparing plasma cool it now. What is this? What is this? Core bridge! There's a core bridge! Blow the boat to outer space to hell. That's okay, boy. You're no longer. Oh, disintegrated. The boy have been disintegrated. Data. I'm glad I was paying attention in history class that day. Yeah, thanks to Data, Zarva. You did great, Zarva. That you paid attention to Data. The greatest minds of Star Trek history. I am concerned, but relieved. Thank you. Yes. No, they won't. Mitchell to Bridge, we've secured the main engineering. Number one, we've got injured up here, and the Borg could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Aye, sir.
The bridge is secure for now. Help the others back onto their feet, number one. We may have more unwanted guests before too long. All right, Captain. Torreira is back on her feet. Ras Raski. Raski is back on his feet. Nice work, number one. <sighs> Looks like that phase of training paid off. Yes, sir. The Borg, sir! More Borg. Captain! The ball took the captain! What? Why would they just leave? That ship. If we can catch them, we may be able to rescue the Captain Taggart. We we survived, but the Captain he trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. Taking a long time to load. I expect this out of Xbox, but not here. There it goes. Yes. Reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Perez, set out the distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Keep trying, Alyssa. What's the status of that aboard ship? I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Is that a damage report? We're running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the system back online. We're about to break even. Hail them, Terrell. Hailing the break even now, Captain. SS break even. This is Starfleet vessel USS Peggy. What is your status? No response, Captain. I suggest that we move closer for a short range scan. Stay sharp. We don't know if there are Borg on that ship. I 
suggest that we remotely order the break evens computer to cease the distress signal. Agreed. We don't want other ships coming to a possible board gambush. Setting down to stress signal. I put together a damage report, Captain, and it's not good. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do we have replacement, Zava? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but we took too much damage in main engineering. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to work. Any ideas? There was a battle here recently between Starfleet and Klingon forces, and the amount of wreckage present is considerable. Despite the dangers involved, the salvage opportunities attract the crews of civilian vessels, like the Break Eden. Hmm, I think I see where you're going with this. Logic suggests that we may discover similar opportunities for salvage here. I recommend scanning the debris field. Some of the derelicts present may contain intact plasma injectors. <laughs> Agreed, Commander Prevail. I scanned the debris out further at once. I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the R2 button to fire energy weapons. This is a reminder. Tony, go close the bed room. Tony, go close.
characters will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil converter and... I'll get everything installed as soon as I can, Captain. Just remember, safety comes first. After all, we don't want to blow up the minute we hit warp one. Unfortunately so, Captain. We are still unable to send a distress signal. There are several operational Starfleet comm satellites near our position. My preliminary attempts to use them to send a distress signal were not successful. A sensor scan revealed the presence of Borg technology in each satellite, and that they are the source of the jamming signal. Since time is a factor, the most expedient solution to the problem is the destruction of the assimilated satellites. Their elimination should allow us to send a distress signal to Starfleet Command. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your phaser banks to weaken shielded targets. Borg ship sustained damage in our encounter, and is likely to be leaking plasma until they have an opportunity to regenerate. We might be able to use that plasma to find them. Understood. Fortunately, our sensors are sufficient to the task of following the trace plasma signature. Now enhancing the plasma trail imaging, the recolored visuals should appear on our mapping systems. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Hold up on the D-pad to activate and deactivate full impulse.
mission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? I see. And you're the acting captain. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for our position. Chimera out. Another Borg Spear is attacking. Assimilation isn't a fate that anyone should suffer, and I hesitate to think about what the Borg would do with a captive Starfleet captain. They must have taken him for a reason. Otherwise, they wouldn't have left without assimilating your entire crew. Agreed. We'll do everything we can to bring your captain home, Cadet. We have lots of signal, Admiral. I don't like the sound of that at all. We need to get to the Pollock system and help the Kittimer before it's too late. Does that include us, Admiral? Indeed it does. I'll need all the help I can get with this situation. 
Consider this a field promotion, Captain. Now then, set a course to the Pollock system, best possible speed. Voyager and Chimera will rendezvous with you there. Janeway out. Go heading to the Pollock system. It's taking all forever to load up. We've arrived in the Pollock system, Captain. I have the Kitimer on sensors. She's taken heavy damage and is not responding to our hails. Your orders? Get us closer. I want to run a detailed scan. This could be another trap.
sorry I was gone. I had to excuse myself for a minute. I had to, I had to do a couple of things. Uh, but I, I might not I might not be on. I might be switching to Xbox and playing with my friends over there. Sensors indicate several critical systems are offline, Captain, including communications. I have numerous life signs on board, however. Good. There's still time to ha save both the ship and her surviving crew. Something's not right. Where are the Borg ships that attacked the camp? Captain, I want you to scan those nearby gas clouds while we assist the crew with the tipper. Make sure they're not hiding any unwanted guests. Understood, Admiral. We'll scan each of those gas clouds. Sensors are having difficulty getting clear resolution through the gaseous anomalies. We will need to move in to very close range to acquire useful information. Understood. Signal all hands to prepare for turbulence. Press right on the D-pad to set your ship's power levels and to have a focus on attack, defense, auxiliary, or speed. I'm always facing the opposite direction. I don't get it sometimes. radiation levels near your position. We're having trouble getting a clear scan. I don't like the look of it. We have the same issue. Recommendations, Admiral? Try recalibrating your multispatial sensor array. That should provide a better reading. Let me know what you find out there. That level of radiation could hide a lot of things, including the board. Understood. We'll try that, Admiral.
medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. Uh, EMH, give me a situation report. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. Can you hold out on your own? We have problems of our own to deal with. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. Admiral Janeway, what are your orders? The Borg did some serious damage to the Kittimer. The EMH might be in command because no one else is fit to do so. I'm reading a few probes from the Kittimer in the system. Looks like they were conducting research here before the Borg attacked. I want you to collect data from those probes. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Understood, Admiral. We'll send teams to aid the Kittimer while you collect that data. One more thing. If you or your crew are unable to tackle this, speak up now. I know firsthand what fighting the Borg can do, even to seasoned officers. I trust my crew. We'll get the job done. Notice how I slowed down my ship. Notice how I slowed down my ship by we pushing have your down data on the D. And our science team is analyzing it now. What is the status of the Kitama? Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kitama. Why do you ask? Can we use the Kitama to help analyze the data? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. Agreed. Can you help the Voyager analyze the data we've accumulated in this system? I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Let's see what we can determine. more enemy cut
Uh oh. Uh oh. We're baddies. sensors are picking up inbound transwarp signatures. Based on our analysis, their most likely target is the Vega system. There's a civilian colony there, and if the Borg take it, they'll have a large population to assimilate. The Kittimer is in bad shape, and they took heavy casualties as well. We're still working on triage and restoring their critical systems. Which leads me to our next course of action. I want you to go to the Vega colony and warn them about the Borg. Voyager and Chimera are better equipped to hold off the Borg and assist the Kittimer. We'll do what we can, but it'll be up to you to warn the Vega colonists. Understood, Admiral. We'll set a course for Vega. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Communication breakdown complete. You need to warn the Vega colony about the impending attack. We'll do what we can here to hold off the Borg and repair the Kittimer. Good luck. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Periods travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space.
Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. Every time I hit the transport button, it takes me back to where I started from. Instead of instead of projecting me forward, it takes me back to my start position. Uh, 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 I won't try that no more. I would have been back to, to our space dock or ESD. I know it doesn't sound right. Okay, let's see where we're. What? I didn't do nothing that time. I guess it's not let me go back to Earth space out. Huh. It's not let me go back to Earth space dark. At least I don't guess. I guess it's just not let me go because until I finish the story. Interesting. Oh well, let's go. Got to continue with the story, I reckon. Cause I know I did. I know I didn't do nothing. Else. It's weird that it won't let me. It should let you if you want it, don't want it, uh, and you don't want to complete this and come back to it later. You should be able to go back to Earth space dock, the solar system. Well, whatever. I don't know. So it's taking forever, ain't it?
Yeah, it wouldn't let me go to the solar system, Earth space dock. We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your orders, Captain? Hell the colonies. We have to warn them. Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting her through now. On screen. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I could do for you today? The Borg are on the way to the system. You need to start evacuating. Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you see the Borg? What about... The Borg are on their way, Mayor. You have to evacuate. Come! What just happened? I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. Set a course for the satellite. at the cost with the satellite. Slow this slow the ship down. Our hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your orders, sir. Zara, can we get a turret spot to locks on the colonists? Uh, the Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the game though. Hurry, I think the Borg will be here in it. I have short range communications. Long range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Chimera, sir. We'll make us stand here. Look for any more Borg landing parties. Where the only staff that relates on the system will risk as many costs as we can.
The Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. Beam us down, then. How to make it full screen. Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. Understood. Well, Mandalay tag any survivors who found to transport. Any questions? No, sir. I'll follow your lead. Let's get moving. Anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons, but we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. There are the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. Achieving the armor.
I apologize for Coles putting a rifle in your face. It'll... I apologize for Coles putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him, the board would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? Uh, we're the only ones here. The Pagans in orbit. I see. Then it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, it's not. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the board. We can rescue them, but something is blocking our transporters. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. Uh, that can't be everyone. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings. But Coles and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, uh. I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is... was a trade colony, and this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. I can get... I can set up the pattern enhancers to cut through the Borg interference. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is... was a trade colony, and this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. Understood. I'll put the equipment to good use. I need to signal the citizens to come here for transport. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the board? As long as we need to give the signal.
Hey, in the travel, we'll be there. We'll be there soon. Mayor, thank you for your assistance. Thank you for everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. I'm not finished yet. Kolesh, you're with me. Glad to do anything I can. I was born on Vega. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the board take it without a fight. Alright, let's get moving. Captain Tiger is lost and gone. I didn't know that was going to do that. I didn't know that board thing was going to blow me to hell. I thought I had to do something to it, like disable it or something. Initiating emergency medical transport. Uh, I didn't know it was going to blow me to hell. The 
ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain, but we don't have much time. We need... By the way, this this is a wholly different scenario than when I started on the Xbox. On the Xbox, it was different. Of course, I started in the original, the Star Trek original series, uh, you know, that era. We're packed to the brim oh. with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed, so we can't reach the Renown or the Kittimer. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vegas is a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Can we reconfigure the satellites in the system to send out an automated warning? Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Uh, sounds like a solid plan. Helm, lay in course for the first satellite. Slow down the ship. Back to back to ship, Paul. Configure second beacon. Well, it's just this way, of course. Of course, it's this way. Speed up a little bit to get there. Full impulse. And then when it you slow the ship down, slowing the ship down, scanning, configure the second beacon, confirmed. Defeat board sphere. Hmm. That, of course, is behind me. Back the ship off, back the ship off. Uh, down on the D-pad, down on the D-pad. Down on the D-pad. Up on the D-pad once or twice. Uh, now hold on the D-pad. Head toward the green arrow. No DC comic pun intended. Back off, back off. 
torpedo. Hit, hit all your buttons. Just hit all your buttons. Hit all your buttons. Hit all the buttons you can. Uh oh, they have us on a tractor boom. All Here comes Forger in the. Admiral Janeway in the, in the Enterprise crew. I think. I'm gonna hit all buttons. Back up. Down on the D pad. Down on the D pad. Keep hitting down on the. Remember, hit all buttons. All buttons. Hit all buttons. Hit all your controller buttons. All your controller buttons. All your controller buttons. Boy Cube defeated. Sorry about the delay. Dealing with the Borg and Pollux took longer than I'd have liked. As you can see, Starfleet got our request for backup. More ships are on the way. Your timing is perfect, Admiral. There's no way we could have defeated the cube by ourselves. Oh, you'd <laughs> be surprised, Captain. Mirandas are a lot tougher than you think. That ship helped you save a lot of lives here today. Treat her well, and she'll do a lot more for you and your crew. Thank you, Admiral. What are your orders? I want you to return to Earth's space dock. Admiral Quinn will want a full report from us. Meet me in his office after you arrive. Acknowledged. Captain Volok told us to get to Earth's space dock, and... I think he's right. We need to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. <sighs> Hang on a minute. Once they get to space dock, I'm gonna quit for the day. And then come back to this tomorrow, maybe. Because I got... Because uh, I want to get on Xbox. And play with my friends on Xbox. I got a best friend on Xbox. That I play with. He's in, He's from England. I wish he was here on PlayStation. I got a best friend. I wish he was here on PlayStation. I consider him my brother too. Peggy, here is your reminder from Tony. Peggy. Sorry about that, Alexis. Big mouth. Captain Volok <sighs> told us to get to Earth's space dock, and I think he's right. We need to get the civilians to safety, and I don't think I can handle any more excitement. Heading, heading to the solar system, Earth space dock. I don't know if. This broadcast picked up Alexa's big mouth. <laughs> I'll see you back at Earth Space Dock, Captain. One more thing. Try not to pick any more fights with the Borg before you get there. I think you've had enough excitement for now. Janeway out. 1,500 experience points, 180 expertise, phaser, full auto rifle, Mark I, damage, console engineering, Neutronium Alloy Mark II, and uh, Starfleet Officer Colez, and 2,000 energy credits. Congratulations, hmm. Lieutenant. And that was uh, Ambassador Spock to, that just spoke.
well, while it's while it's heading to Earth space dock. While it's heading to Earth space dock the, in the solar system. I know, I know. Leave it alone. As my best friend and my brother would say from England, leave the controls alone. Put the put the controller down and let it do its thing. But I just want to check this. I'm sure surely checking this won't. affected on I don't think I like the background music let's see what's in my inventory phaser Phaser Body Armor Hyper Pulse Engine Mark Deflector Ray Console Console Oh, that's my I don't know what that is. Engineering Science, tactical, nothing for tactical, just engineering science. Okay, let's see. I need to fill my away team. I'll do that later. Missing journal. Episode. Klingon War. Active missions. Incoming hoes. Almost there. Traveling to Earth space dock. In the soul system. Earth space dock. Or ES. Or ESD. I know it don't sound right. Oh wow, I'm traveling without traveling. That's cool. Wow, that's interesting. It's doing it for me. I don't remember this doing it for me the last time. Wow, that's cool. Well, oh, I know what it did. It, I followed the blue line with. I mean, I already, I already knew how to get there because, like I said, I already did this on Xbox, and I'm already a fleet admiral. I own my own fleet and everything, and I, I even got a colony that I'm in charge of building a new colony. And getting re trying to get people to join for the to build a new colony. Maybe I should do it on PlayStation. 
I had to find out from how he did that. Try to get my friend. Uh, let's see what the transfer general information. Well. General information. Admiral Quinn's office is located in the operation area. Yeah, know that, but for the new for the newcomers, there's your information. <laughs> if you ever need to speak to him or Ambassador Sughara, you can find them there. We're a full service star base. So you can access the bank or the exchange, get your mail, shop, choose and customize a ship, and heal your injuries here. Hmm. This is the primary star base serving the Soul System, one of the Starfleet's largest bases in the Federation. More than 1,400 officers live here on the station full-time and other shuttles between here and assignments on Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Admiral Quinn is the commanding officer here, and he is also the liaison between the, f the fleet and Starfleet Command on Earth. Shipyard Admiral's office. Once you go down the right turn, left turn, go down the curved hall to ops or operations. And that next one, you should see Admiral Quinn's office. You can easily find General Sugahara and Captain Sula in ops as well. I need to repair my ship. The chief engineer officer is located in the shipyard. I want to customize my ship. The ship's telecom is located in the shipyard. I want to select a new ship. If you want to select one of your ships, your current vessel, go to the shipyard. If you want to requisition a new starship, see the ship vendor. She is located in the shipyard as well. I have other questions. Bank exchange. I need to access my bank. Every stylus that has an account to store items that they may not may not need immediately. To access your bank, use the terminals or over or space dock. I want to access the exchange. Starfleet has an exchange for officers to buy or sell items. Use the terminals and exchange area to access the the auction. If you purchase an item, it will be mailed to you. If you sell an item, the credits will be added to your current funds. Like I said, I know all this. I'm just doing it for pe new people. Requisitions Club 47. Club 47. Uh, I like to change my uniform. You need to talk to Gimmick Tiller. He is located in the requisition area. Where can I requisition away team equipment? Look for an instant Lessa in the requisition. She should have what you are looking for. Is there a place to relax? You need to visit Club 47. Oh, that's what, that's right. That's right. That's what Club 47. That's right. Zuzu keeps dance floor, but there's also lines like things a little quieter. I have some other questions. Personnel. Where can I learn about skills? Commander Bolt can help you. He is, his station is Ops downstairs from Admiral Quinn's office. I have been injured. <laughs> I achieved my notes and help in the sick bay. Uh, I would like to launch a fleet. The fleet ambassador is located in Ops. I have questions about bridge officers. Who is the some bridge officers? Talk to Elsa Mora. Her station is located in Ops, in the lower level of Alcove, down the stairs from Alcove's office on the north side. If you want your bridge officer to learn new abilities, there is a bridge officer trainer 
located in there as well. I have other questions. Exit. No more questions. That's it. Okay, let's go. Let's follow this blue line. But before we continue with that, since I already know all about this from Xbox, um, for the for those of you that are new to this game, first time playing it, over here as you can see, you got uniform supply. Over here, you know, you see all the latest uniforms. People getting well. If you want to change your outfit, you know, get like a civilian outfit. You do. You talk to this guy here, gimmick to lure. You press X, customize clothing. You can alter your uniform and look here. Uh, tailor, and then it'll take practically forever. And then it, it'll go to this menu. Then, then you, um, then you press the 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 square button to modify outfit. Uh, takes forever sometimes. I don't know why. I guess it's the internet or something. The uniform. It takes forever. Like I said, unless you got a faster internet, it won't take so long. Otherwise, it takes forever, it seems like. And then it goes to this menu, blah, 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 yeah. And, you know, you can make your, you can make your, uh, your, you know, you can make you who you, how you want to look. I'm, want, I'm wanting to think I already made my character the way I want him to be, or well, the way I want <laughs> the way I want me to be. Oh, I need to I need to update my pips. Th that that gold thing on my red shirt collar there. I need to change that. Like I said, this takes forever. I need to change that to lieutenant because I think I'm a, lieut a lieutenant now. I like to keep my uniform updated. I was in the U.S. Navy, so I like to keep my uniform updated. Like I said, if if you get into this position, you, you see how it's taking forever. Probably the internet could be the internet, could be PlayStation or Xbox. Um, could be the server. I don't know. It could be the Star Trek Online altogether. As to why it's slow like this. Um, well, once you get here to uniform, yeah, you, know, you you put you use your right index finger, and you want to push the R the R two button. Uh, I'm used to Xbox, so I think it's the R2 button and scroll over to advanced Anyway, it's the it's the fatter of the two buttons on the PlayStation controller the the bottom right button on the controller on the right side the bottom um, the, the the bottom Button which should be the R2 button RT RT. I don't know whichever it is uh, I don't yeah, I guess it's anyway, and then uh, and then uh, put my. I like to have an emblem. It's cool. Wrist, no wrist. Okay, here we go. Rank. Uh, Chief, Ensign, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Junior Gray. I, I think Junior Gray is 
I think it goes Ensign, Lieutenant Junior Grade, and Lieutenant, because that's how it is in the Navy. Ensign first, Lieutenant JG, and Lieutenant. Is, you got Ensign, which is a one, one pip or or one or or one gold stripe, something like, you know, on the in the Navy. And then it's. Then after Ensign is Lieutenant Junior Grade, or Lieutenant JG is what it's commonly called, and that's one and a half, you know, one one solid and um, and a half a pip. You know, it's got like a black circle that means it's like not solid. And uh, again, this is for new people. It's just playing this. Um, but in the Navy, you, you have white. I'm sure you've seen the current white uniforms or tan un or khakis, as they call them. It's got the one solid stripe, and then you got one big. Uh, it's like maybe a half inch, and then you got a quarter inch next to it. That's uh, the lieutenant is is two one inch stripes. So, but in this case, it's two solid gold pips, and then uh, then that's about it for now. What happened? Uh, it's it's just doing that thing. Well, it's freezing up a little bit. Okay. Save changes. Um, you can rename the outfit, so I'm not going to do it this time. I'm just showing you the basics and updating my rank insignia. Going back, backing out of it, so I can show you the rest of the. Uh, okay, that's the. That's how you change your. That's how you get new uniforms. Change uniforms. And then, of course, this is the dressing rooms. I mean, you, you can go in here and, you know, as if it was real life, like you're going to really change your clothes, uh, sit on the bench, you know, look at the, look at the, f this weird looking flower, you know, do whatever. And then, uh, and then over here, Huh, you got some chick named Vivian. You can you can look at players info by pushing the the select button and you can check them out, see who they are, what what you know, rank down and everything. I sent a friend request. Okay, uh, so you can check players out. Uh, turbo lift. Some sometimes these some certain. That's just a regular Starfleet, you know. It's like a, that's like an in-game officer. And over here is pers personal equipment. Well, for those of you that can't read backwards, personal equipment. At ease, there's security. And uh, you got this Ensign Lisa, requisition personal equipment. And then you got requisition away team weapons, requisition away team equipment, requisition kits, purchase consumables, purchase tech upgrades. Uh, you know, you can check that out. Uh, um, well, I'll give you a brief description of each. Uh, away team weapons, you know, to, you know, upgrade, basically, 
Let's go upgrade your weapons. Uh, equipment. You know, like suits and shield, uh, armor and shields. Uh, kits, like those tricorders and all kinds of stuff. Uh, uh, consumables, you know, like shields, hypos, and then uh, tech upgrades. This, these help upgrade your equipment, like your phasers and your turrets and your pistols. You know, your personal weapons and your shield weapons and armor and your. Uh, it, it upgrades just about everything you need to that you want to upgrade to make it better and bigger and better. Then over here you got this Lieutenant Shelby. Uh, what are tech upgrades? You know he'll explain all everything. You know, uh, you know he explains all that. And, and then, uh, and then you come out of personal equipment and then of course back there back that direction is to where we you know came off the transporter pad into Admiral Quinn's office oh here's, a, here's another fellow a player on PlayStation uh, to uh, it tells who the character is and possibly who the real the real name of the person. Uh, Fleet Admiral. Uh, Doctor Who. <laughs> right now it's just on audio, so you're not seeing. I'm probably not seeing. It. Uh, okay, now we're back. And over here is the commodity trader. Uh, Requisition energy credit commodities. I I barely even on even on Xbox I barely come here. Greetings, Lieutenant. Speak to broker host to learn about the Federation outreach program. Otherwise, feel free to see what we have available. Hmm. Uh, medical service provisions, children raises, communities raised, industrial energy coils. Okay, that's stuff that you possibly might need for your ship. Then you come out of there. Uh, and over here is just, you know, your basic lounge. You got your bank. I think they're. I think they're both bank. Well, no, this is access mail. Uh, bank. Your bank is. You know, just like a bank. You know, you got empty slots. You put. If you got. Uh, well. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you got uh, stuff in your inventory, you know, go down here to inventory, and all of this is full, and you want to store something in your bank that you, that's something that you cannot use on your character or your ship because it's n it's too large for your character at the moment, and you can't use it. Like like say if it's a if it's a cap if it's a body armor for made for a captain and you're not a captain yet well you'll, you'll take it out of inventory you'll take it out of inventory and you put it in the bank and you you know and you select it from you know and you put it in the bank um, and then you got then you got something called an account bank which is like you know like an ATM or the you know real life ATM kind of thing so you can uh, you can deposit withdraw which in this case I can't cannot do neither 
because I'm not to that point yet where I can do either in Fleet Bank and it's not accessible because I'm not part of a fleet and then uh, over here is the mail uh, it's 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 not like it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like your email it, I guess you could say it's uh, email in Star Trek Online um, you use this you can uh, compose to whoever you want to to somebody who is on Star Trek Online anybody you know that's on Star Trek Online or to somebody in the fleet that you're in the fleet with it's it's just like it's like email in real life you know when you send somebody email in real life it's the only difference is that this email is primarily it's, it's for Star Trek Online only it's not it does not go to your real email at least I don't think I haven't I haven't tested that theory yet to see if it's r real life email but anyway uh, you know you, you can compose email check email then fleet then you get fleet email anyway uh, it's it's like email in real life but uh, then over here just like I said over there is where we came from of uh, the transporter pad Admiral Quinn's office and over here is what they call the exchange oh yeah over here uh, like I said when I was when I was doing this on Xbox uh, on Xbox, I started. I started off with um, uh, on, on Xbox when I f when I started this on Xbox for the first time. Uh, I started as a s the original Star Trek, and uh, and when you start from the original Star Trek, so you know Captain Kirk, you know back, you know that time period. Well, you um, you're transported to the future, and this is where you. And when you first come to the future, you start. This is where you start, and then you talk to this guy, blah blah, you know, and and all that. Then he says, "Go talk to Admiral Quinn," blah blah, and about things. Or, of course, well, actually, it, when you start off, you start off uh, in the past, fighting the past Klingons or something. And, and then then after you do all the fighting and space fighting you know like we just did with the Borg and Admiral Janeway and then Admiral Janeway you know all that and then Admiral Janeway says go to Earth Space Dock and you end up in Earth Space Dock and and then uh, and then uh, you go to Admiral Quinn's office and follow that blue line well uh, when you're doing the simulation from the original Star Trek series, you know back at Captain Coach time when you start when you start in that time period, you, you you do a different simulation, you do a different fight simulation, you do you know a different cadet simulation, uh, everything like that. Um, you get transported to the future. Uh, somehow you get transported to the future right off, or or you or you fight a little bit then. You, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, you eventually get tr transported to the future to to this time period, and then uh, and then you uh, fight for your life. And the captain the captain gets captured by Klingons. You fight the Klingons. You kill the captain of the Klingons. Then you become the captain of the ship, and then and then uh, everything's settled. And so then some admiral comes on. I forget what it's Janeway or who it is some admiral or something and then you do come here um uh, but there's something in the past where you talk to the original star trek crew scotty and and check off and and uh and uh mccoy and her and all of them uh, uh i think you talk to all except for maybe spock and kirk uh, and then you do all that fighting simulation, then you end up in the future, or something like that. Well, anyway, as soon as you, as soon as you, as soon as you are sent to Earth, 
to the solar system you you start from here and then you and then of course you go to Admiral Quinn's office and all that and you know I think well this is the this is where the ship this is where you get all your ships and stuff now I don't think this is where you talk to anybody about ships or anything this is just all this is is just for uh, just just for viewing mostly it's not for much of anything else but to look at but um, uh, well then you head back out here and of course you know huh, look at this clown named Jesse some sort of clown named Jesse that's a uh, human and that looks like I thought it was a Borg. I don't know what kind of outfit that is. But anyway, thought it was a Borg. Anyway, you got the ex over here. You got what's called exchange, interstellar goods and energy credits exchange. Deck 47, friend. Okay, I guess you're on deck 47. And you can all you can also ac access the bank from here. Uh, you can access the exchange and bank from a whole lot of places. You click on the exchange and you got all kinds of stuff. You can sell whatever. It's self explanatory. Over here is benches to sit on. Again, mail and such. And a lot of this is self explanatory. You know. And then, uh, then, and then, of course, once once you get going good, you know, once you start becoming, uh, ranking up to captain and all that, and well, as a matter of fact, with the with the current with your current ship, you can do you know you can upgrade your current the ship. But you'll get you'll get ships as you go. Um, you get ships as you go. Um, here's here's one of the people they said talk to how to captain yacht. I don't know, you have to pay money in real life for that or something. I, I can't remember that much, but manage ships, you know, this is about, about your ship. Uh, Requisitions to ship equipment, ship weapons and stuff like that. You know, once you get here, it's self-explanatory for the most part. Um, Customize ship. You can customize your ship how you want. Customize your shuttle. Customize your starship how you want it. You can uh, select one of these, you know, how you want it to be, and customize it. Um. Oh, yeah. Of course, once you get here, you see a bunch of other players here. It's people you may have met, or might, or might meet. Oh yeah, over here is C, uh, there's that C-47. That's that relaxation center. It's kind of like a nightclub, and you know, like a 24-hour nightclub. And over here is Sick Bay, the medical center. And you got the some receptionist. Then you got then you got the doctor. And I um uh you will you will hear things like visiting hours or well end in fifteen minutes stuff like that. Uh, 
you know, you might see you might see computer um, officers, you know, non non playable. But let's go back because I'm I'm fixing to I'm fixing to uh, quit for the day, but. We'll go back to Admiral Quinn. Okay, see that. We'll go back to the transporter and say where we started when we come to us. We, when we, uh, when Admiral Janeway sent us to the solar system, Earth space dock, we, we landed here on this transport and then it, and then it took us then it showed us by uh, kind of like a ghost. It showed us how to get to Admiral Quinn's office, and then and then this blue line showed up to to show us how. To, then uh, then it again showed us how to get there with this blue line. Over here's another panel access mail, and then you know you just keep following the blue line. Uh, another player named James. Uh, well, before we go to Quinn's office, which is, which that's Quinn right there sitting in his chair, and there's Admiral Janeway. Uh, and down, down here you got, there's, there's Captain Sulu, which is, which is the, either the grandson this Captain Sulu is either the I don't know if he's the son I wouldn't say he's the son because this is way, way in the future so I can't remember if he's the grandson or the great grandson of the Sulu from Captain Kirk's crew you know from the original Star Trek but but yeah that's a descendant of Sulu from Captain Kirk Admiral Kirk's crew from the original TV series and the movies. Um, yeah, it, I know. Interesting, huh? Pretty cool. Uh, if you're a Star Trek fan, then down here you got this security officer. If you got a, after you start playing a while, becoming a captain, you know, you 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 acquire or an admiral, you you get prisoners. Then you talk with him, and then you, then he'll say uh, transfer prisoners, and then then you'll get requisition officers for prisoners. And, and down here is a cool place. It, it shows all. It down here it show it shows you all the past ships of all the past Star Trek shows from every every Star Trek Enterprise ship. Well, maybe they're not all Enterprise. Some of them might be Voyager. You know, all the all the Star Trek TV s series, all the Star Trek TV shows, movies, all the Enterprises. You know, every Enterprise and probably. And then over here is that Commander Balt. Uh, inquiry about training and ranks. Uh, I want to know about my bridge officer. Okay. Self explain, you know, when you click on that, then you, then he'll tell you all about it. And so, and this is about requisition officers. And then you get all the officers to choose from. Ooh, who's this? Who's this chick here? I wonder who this chick here is. Uh, uh, via her profile, uh, friend request. Uh, okay, uh, then you got bridge officer training. Eventually, eventually self-explanatory. Oh yeah, that's that hall where I was just at. You can either go up the steps, go around, or come down. There's two ways in and out. There's two ways in and out of most of these places. And you got this guy down here, assignment officer. T tells you about different assignments. 
Talks about different assignments you can do. Okay. Admiral Quinn. Oh yeah, you got this triple agent here. If you if you choose at some point, maybe when you if you if you if you have not or if you are a triple agent you talk to this guy. Greetings, how can I assist you today? Well, where do I start? I'm 157 years old. That's only because I spent 90 years caught in a temporal distortion in the Typhon Expanse, serving as an ensign under Captain Morgan Bateson on the USS Bozeman. Much of the crew of the Bozeman found it difficult to integrate back into Starfleet. So much had changed. The Temporal Intelligence Agency took in many of my shipmates due to our first-hand knowledge of events that occurred in the past. So, that's where I ended up. Greetings, how can I assist you to... But, you got, that's Admiral Quinn, of course, Admiral Janeway, then you got all these other ambassadors and admirals, but for now, I'm going to be done, I'm going to, I'm going to end this, I'm going to end this broadcast for today, I'll, I'll continue sometime later. If not tomorrow, sometime later. Um...